And welcome back to another post bag. I know you love to hate them. So, here we have one. This one's from Amazon. If I can open it. Oh no, it's already open. No, is it? Yes, yes. No, it's already open. There we go. This is two stainless, I think they're stainless steel rods. They're for the 3D print, not the 3D print, but they're for the laser cutter, as it's got a wonky rod in it. And uh, so I've ordered a, a rod, and at some point I'll replace the wonky one, and uh, that might help. So there you go, I think they're about 5 mil in diameter, and just over a foot long. Good old metric and imperial there. Us old people, ah, we can do both. So we'll push that up there. Bit of garbling going on here. Ready for the next one. Which is, well, I thought it was capacitors. I thought, hey, we're going to have a capacitor in the post bag. But there wasn't, as you can see. Oh, get rid of the paperwork. You don't want to see that. So what's there? Oh, look. Little diodes. They're BAT 54s, I think. Dual Schottky diodes. SO23. Now, the thing is, I thought they were capacitors for one of my power supplies, and so I hadn't opened them for a long time. So I forgot why I ordered them. But hey ho, you can't have everything. And now we're going to bring in the. Oh no, we're going to carry on talking about it. No, we're going to put it out there. Right. Now, are we going to bring in the biggie? Yes, it's the biggie from Amazon. Don't know why, but Amazon were the cheapest for all the things I bought. Even with some of their sales, they were still... Well, the sales were just ridiculous. Sometimes the prices went up during the sales. Sorry, there's no sound for you hearing the box being cut. Oh, look, there it goes. Wow, look. This is the last edition to Tech Tower's PC. I thought I would go for a reasonably good graphics card. Geoforce RTX 4060 Ti by Gigabyte, so it matches the motherboard. So it should be fun. And 16 gig of D the DDR6 memory. So I was going to go for the 8 gig one, but the 16 gig turned out only to be about 40 quid dearer. So I, I thought I'll bite the biscuit. And we can have, oops, upside down. We can have twice as much RAM. Very nice box, must say. So opening it slowly so you can save the, the thing. So here we go. Here's the card. Throw that away. Never want to read that anyway. And there is the beauty. Look at it. Three fans. And they're contour rotating. The one in the middle goes in the opposite direction to the two at each side, apparently. And I was going to say, oh, I'm not going to unwrap it in this video because uh, I don't want to risk damaging something that costs more than an arm and a leg. <laughs> but again, yeah, it's about 280 millimeters long by about the height of a standard thing. And so it looks rather good in the PC. It uh, looks very chunky. I've just got to tidy up the wipe the cable form to it. Let's uh, move that out of the way. Well, I'm going to bring the box in so we can have a quick look at what it actually says because on the card it doesn't say a lot. All right. So there it talks about the, uh, shows you in the top left, the uh, contra rotating fans and the fact it's got RGB fusion. So it links in with all the other parts of the motherboard and allows me to set the color of the Gigabyte logo. <laughs> what more can you ask for? And there is the PC sitting by the side in uh, all its glory. There's 32 gigs of RAM pulsating away. Two big fans on the front, changing colour. And the two fans on the huge heatsink. And if you look down the bottom, just under... Oh, there's the heatsink. Got two big fans on that that are pulsing away. And then down the bottom, underneath, there's a little plug. There's a heatsink that's got three hard... Dr your SSD hard drive slots in it and underneath that is a little light so you get a little bit of colour at the bottom of the motherboard. So there we go, back to the box. So 
if you like this rather boring, overdubbed <laughs> post bag of me prattling on, yeah, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, you know, do what else everyone does, share, like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this would have been better if I hadn't have overdubbed it. Ah, uh, you know, I'll catch you on the next one. You never know. Oh, look, I tell a lie. I've taken it out of its box to look at all its gigabyte goodness and showing the fact that uh, the middle fan, the blades are in the opposite direction. But I don't know how well it works because I've had it in the machine running and the fan don't actually run. It doesn't get, at the moment, it's not getting hot enough to uh, actually run its own fans. There's a lot of metal work and heat sinking going on under there. So, I think, I think it was worth the money. Which, you know, was a, as I say, was an arm and a leg. But, if you like it, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.